guys um it's been a while and so i just kind of wanted to make a video just to talk about some things um partially just related to me personally partially related to this channel i don't know it's just gonna be kind of all over the board here but um yeah i've kind of been i wouldn't i don't know if avoiding is the right word but, um, I guess I've taken a step back from, um, social media and this channel especially, um, lately. And I do have some reasons for that, but I'm, I kind of wanted to make a video partially because I've been getting a number of messages from people who have noticed that I've been kind of, like, off the grid almost, not really, but, like, I don't know. Like, I haven't been on social media. I haven't been posting things on this channel and stuff. And I've gotten some messages from people, and so this is partially to address the things that people have been messaging about me about. And um, I do want to start off by saying that I'm very thankful for the messages y'all have sent me. Um, it's very nice to hear from y'all. And you you guys are so kind and nice, and I, I really love you guys. And um, I haven't been responding to people. And, um... I don't know how much detail I want to get into here, but my basic reasoning for not talking to people um, is that I just, I haven't really had the energy or the motivation to do anything related to this channel lately, and that includes messaging people who know me through this channel and who are talking to me about this channel and everything that this channel encompasses, which includes collecting. Um, and it's probably not, mm, how do I say this? Um, I think part of the reason I've put it off so long is because I have been letting it build up and build up and build up. And then the more it builds up, the less I want to address it and the more overwhelming it gets. And so this is me finally putting my foot down and also me just being in the mindset where I'm able to deal with this and addressing the issue at hand. And um, one of the main reasons, and I have not told y'all this except for one person who I talk to quite often, um, one of the main reasons why I have been, you could say neglecting, I'm gonna use that word, neglecting this channel, is because um, I have made some pretty significant changes in my life, which includes collecting, that I haven't told y'all about. And, um, the main thing, I guess, to say is that I really kind of am not collecting anymore. In a way, I am, but it's absolutely nothing like the way I used to collect beforehand. Um, for one, I no longer collect photo cards. Um, I actually stopped collecting photo cards about six months ago, so back about the beginning of December. Um, I have bought like a couple in between now and then, but that was mostly near the beginning of that period. And I have done a few trades, um, but I don't collect photo cards anymore. And um, in addition, I don't collect a few other things. I stopped collecting slogan towels. Um, I stopped buying multiple copies of their albums. And yeah, there's a lot of things that I don't buy. I don't really buy merchandise anymore. I actually have a pretty strict list of things that I am okay with buying. And anything that doesn't fit in that list, like if I'm buying it, I better have one damn good reason to buy it. It better be something that I am going to use if I'm buying it. Um, and the reason, there are many reasons for me scaling back my collecting. Um, one of them is, first and foremost, money. Collecting is ungodly expensive. And if any of you collect, then you know this. So I feel like I don't really need to tell you all that because you all know that. And I know a lot of people can't collect for that reason. But um, with the way that I collected, it was consuming so much of my money that I would have to make some pretty ridiculous sacrifices in order to pay for the things that I wanted to buy for my collection. And so, like, I would avoid going out with friends. I would avoid going to see my parents 
because I didn't want to spend the money to put gas in my car. Because my parents, they live like an hour and a half away. So like it takes like a full tank of gas for me to drive to my parents and drive back. And I would like, I would not want to put the money into my car in order to go spend time with my family. And instead I would buy a fucking photo card. Like that. That's unhealthy. That's just fucked up. And it was getting really bad. Like I would feel such immense anxiety over, for one, not being able to keep up with all the photo cards that they released and all the other shit that they released. Um, I'd feel guilty spending money on the photo cards, even though like it's my money, I can do what I want with it, but spending the amount of money that I did on primarily photo cards, because by the end of it, that's pretty much all I bought because I could barely even keep up. Actually, I couldn't keep up, but that was pretty much what I bought by the end of it and nothing else because there were just so many photo cards. But, um, where the hell was I going with this? Yeah, like I said, um, I felt extreme anxiety over not being able to keep up when new photo cards were released, wondering how was I going to get them, like, was it, were they going to be so rare that they'd be almost impossible to get? How much was I going to have to spend? So, for one, the anxiety, two, the guilt and spending all that money and having to turn down other things in life that I wanted just because of photo cards. And just overall, collecting became a very, very negative thing for me. It didn't initially start out that way because I've been collecting Monstex pretty intensively since they put out Lost. And back then, collecting OT7 was not a big deal. They had one set of broadcast cards and their X-Clan Origins concert cards, which came out afterwards, but those got pretty expensive, but I was able to buy those before that happened. And so really, collecting Monster X, back when I started collecting them, was totally reasonable. It was a very feasible thing to do. Granted, their broadcast cards for Lost were crazy expensive because they were a lot more rare back then for some reason, which I still don't quite get because Lost has been long over, so you'd think they'd be more expensive now, but they're not. But anyway, um, collecting them back then, it was totally, totally reasonable, totally like doable. Just, it wasn't impossible in the way that it is now. And I've been in denial for a long time about how impossible it is to collect Monstex in the way that I have been. And I have even made plans before, I don't have this video up anymore, but I made plans like a really long time ago and I was like, this is going to be my new collection strategy and these are the things I'm going to collect. And then you know what I did? I totally didn't stick with it. I continued to collect Monstex in the way that I had previously done, even though I knew, I knew at the time, which is the entire reason I made those plans to begin with, that I could not sustain the way I was collecting. But I did it anyway. And... I don't know why. It's not reasonable. In some ways, I do know why. Because when you have something that you put that much time and effort into, just walking away from it, it's painful. It's hard to do. Even if you know that you need, that's what you need to do, it's hard to do. It's, it's an addiction. And I know other people have been talking about this recently, actually. I haven't really watched their videos, but I know I know other collectors have been feeling it. Not just Monstax collectors, but K-pop collectors in general. But, and this actually extends to more than Monstax. This extends to me collecting K-pop as a whole. But it's just that I've been only focusing on Monstax for the past, oh man, year and a half or so. That That's really all I can talk about at this point. Um, but... It, like I said, it had become an addiction. And it, it was unhealthy. I, I was getting so, so much like emotional turmoil over the way I was collecting. That I had to, I had to put my foot down. And I had to say that this can't go on anymore. And so I no longer really collect, um, I do, as you can see, like, I do have the connect over there, and then there's peace up at the top, which you can barely see. But, um, so that, that's not to say, like, I don't buy anything.
Vermont sex ever and like I've totally gotten away from it but um because that's not true because I still love Monstax and I do like to support them and I want to buy their albums so um, I have significantly changed the way I am approaching this from now on instead of buying multiple copies like I'm not buying how many freaking copies of the code did I buy I don't even remember it was a lot um, I think it was like 20 yeah, I bought 20 copies of the code. Instead of doing that, I'm only buying one copy of each version for their albums from now on. So those four Connect albums you see are the only four that I bought. Um, Peace, I only bought one copy of each version. And so um, I'm still buying their albums. And if they release photo books and DVDs, I, wouldn't, I wanna buy those because I do like those and they don't do that very often. Um, I'm also buying Season's Greetings still because that's once a year and I'm still joining the fan club every year um but really like I have had to put my foot down for my own well-being recently and just told myself this is what you gotta do and this is what you're going to do and to be perfectly honest it was the best decision I have ever made in my life like I I really enjoy collecting for a time until it became overly stressful, like I said before, and it became a problem for me. But um, collecting, overall, I can't say that I regret collecting. Um, it gave me this channel. This channel would not exist if I wasn't collecting. Um, it, I have a lot of friends now because of this channel, and I talk to some of y'all on Twitter and Instagram and other places I don't know but like I never would have ever met pretty much any of you guys without this channel so I am very grateful for what it brought me but like from a financial standpoint I regret everything I don't regret supporting the artists that I've supported not just Monstax but the other artists I bought an album from but thinking about all the money that I have put into this it is insane it is just absolutely crazy. And so, because of that, like, every now and then I look at my collection and I'm just like, oh my god, what did I do? But, um, I haven't sold anything in my collection because I'm not quite ready to part with anything yet. Maybe in the future I will, I don't know for sure. But, um, for now everything is staying. And that includes all my non monstex stuff. Um, but yeah, so that was the main thing I wanted to talk about in this video. How I have changed my collecting, my, ugh, pronunciation is hard, guys. I have changed my collecting habits. And um, because of that, I've kind of distanced myself from this channel a little bit because this channel is about collecting. That's what this channel has always been about since the beginning. And if I found a niche in collecting Monster X, but um, since I really don't collect much anymore, I've had, I guess I just kind of haven't known what to do with this channel and where I want to go with it. Um, I do, like I said, I am still buying certain things from them. so. I do want to like continue to unbox their stuff when I get their stuff in, um, which I will come back to that point later because I have some things to say about that. Um, but because I just I haven't known how to deal with this channel and with their most recent comeback because I stopped collecting in Drama Rama era, so when the Connect came out, I was just kind of like at a loss. Like I don't know what to do. Like it was the first time I was really faced with the reality that. You're not going to be able to collect this stuff anymore because you told yourself no. And so I was, I would see people on Instagram and Twitter and everywhere, like buying all the broadcast cards and buying the fan sign postcards. And I was just like sitting there thinking to myself, like that should be me because that was always me, but that can't be me anymore because I can't live that way. You know, I can't. I can't invest my entire life 
in to buying pieces of cardboard with pictures of these boys' faces on them. Like, that cannot do it because, like I said before, it became an addiction to me. There was no stopping once I started. And when I tried to scale back and only collect a few things, it didn't work for me. I have to have everything or nothing. There is no in-between for me. And some people in in-between works perfectly well, but I'm not one of those people. I need it all or I just need nothing. There is no spectrum here. It's very black and white for me. And so when they had their comeback, I was just kind of faced with the reality that I made this decision and I have to stick by it. And seeing all these people buying all this stuff that I would normally buy, I just like couldn't deal with it. I couldn't, like I didn't know how to stand them without collecting. I didn't know how to be a fan without the collecting aspect. And I'm still struggling with that to be honest. I've, like I haven't been really been able to look in my photo card binder recently because I just cannot can't look at them and see all the unfinished collections and be okay with it in all respects like in some ways yes in some ways no because I look at it and I'm like I have the ability to finish this why don't I finish this because you you're going down a very dangerous road if you do that and there's no turning back but I'm getting better and um, I've slowly been getting myself out of the funk that I've been worked, I've worked myself into. And it's not only related to collecting, like I have other things in my life that are just keeping me away from this channel. Um, work has been very hectic for me lately, for one. But um, that's the main thing that I wanted to talk about here. Um, and like I said earlier, I haven't quite known what to do with this channel now that I don't really collect like I used to. Um, I do want to do unboxings, like I said. Um, I actually just got my Peace albums today, which you can see them up there. And um, I did unbox them, so I will be uploading that. I'd like to hopefully get it up by this weekend, but we'll see how it works. Um, how it works out. Um, I do have my third generation Mon Bebe fan club membership kit that I can unbox. What else do I have? I have my litmus catalogs, which I said I was going to unbox like a really fucking long time ago. And I never, actually I did film it twice, but it never worked. Like I was not happy with the results. And so I never uploaded them. So I'd kind of like to refilm that and get those um, posted. I'm not buying litmus catalogs anymore, so the ones that I have are the ones that I will always have unless I decide to sell them, which I'm not planning to right now. So, yeah, I'll probably, I don't know when, but eventually I'd like to refilm that and get those up. Um, okay, the connect. So, I did, I unboxed that album, all four versions, I unboxed them when I got them, but I really, really do not like how my unboxing turned out, like, at all. I refused to publish it, and y'all can't convince me otherwise, but, um, I'm, I'm probably willing to refilm it if y'all still want to see me do an unboxing of the Connect. Um, it won't have any of the surprise elements, because I already know, like, what my cards are, but, um, I am willing to do it. If you guys want to see it, if y'all don't want to see it, then I'm not going to do it. But, um, let me know if you guys still want to see an unboxing of the Connect because I will, um, do that if y'all want it. I do have posters, too, that I can show in my unboxing. Um, but, yeah, as far as unboxings go, that's pretty much all that there is. They, they're having their upcoming world tour soon, so I don't know... Depends on what the merch is, I might buy something. I hope they do another program book, because I would like to buy the program book if they have one. But that'd probably be it. I don't know, we'll have to see. But, yeah. Um, if there is anything in specific you guys want to see from my channel, I am open to suggestions right now. Um, I, 
I do plan to do a full Monstex collection video soon. Um, initially, I was going to do it on May 14th, which, which is their anniversary, but I'm actually going um, out of town the weekend, like right before that, and I have to film it on the weekend just because it takes such a long time to film it. And so I'm not going to be able to get up on the 14th. Hopefully the next weekend I will be able to film it. But it's a little bit up in the air right now. So I'm actually going to be out of town a lot within the next like month and a half to two months. So I'm not quite sure when I'm going to get all these things filmed. But um, yeah, um, in addition to a Monster X collection, I'd kind of like to do um, a collection video showing all the posters I have that are not Monster X posters because I have quite a few. And I'd also like to do a collection video of all my non Monster X like albums and photo books and DVDs and stuff. But other than that, I don't really have much. Um, I'm actually trying to save money for something else that I really want in life, which I have actually wanted for a long time and that's I started saving for it quite quite a few years ago. I think about six years ago I started saving for this thing and then I got into K-pop collecting and I was like pulled into the addiction that is buying albums and so I spent all my money on that and now I'm trying to save for it again. Um, but it's gonna take me a long time to save up for it so. Um, in the meantime I'll be here trying to put away money um but those are the main things that I've wanted to talk to y'all about because I did I wanted to give you guys an explanation for where the hell I have been because like I said at the beginning a lot of you have messaged me and I'm very grateful for that but I haven't messaged y'all back because I just like have not had the mindset the energy the motivation you name it I just have like not been in the, the mood basically to talk to people about anything. I've just kind of closed myself off lately. Um, and so I'm probably not gonna really respond to those older messages just because they're so old and they've been like sitting rotting in my inboxes for however long. So if y'all wanna message me, again, feel free. If y'all have messaged me before, you know that I take like a century to respond to things. So if I don't get back to you right away, don't worry about it. Um, but I don't really want to go back. I just, I kind of want to have a fresh slate is what I'm getting at. So I don't think I'm going to go back and respond to all those messages. But I do appreciate you guys sending them in. It's, it's very thoughtful of you guys. Um, but yeah, that, I think that's pretty much everything that I needed to say. This video is fucking long. I'm sorry, y'all. I got very rambling. Way off topic. Um, but again, that was just kind of an update that I wanted to give you all because I've been away for so long and I've been avoiding everything. Um, so if you guys watched this, um, thank you. I know there wasn't really anything to look at. This is just kind of like a teaser for whenever I get around to filming my collection. And also, I don't want to appear on camera, so... That's why you're looking at my shelf, uh, which I do need to rearrange because I don't know where I'm going to put peace because there's like no space up on that top one. So we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, so that is pretty much everything I had to say, I think. Maybe I'll think of something else. If I do, I'll put it in the description. But um, thank you guys so much if you listen to this. Thank you for all the support y'all have given me over how long have I had this channel? I don't even know. However long this channel's been around. However long we've been around. I, yeah. Anyway. Thank you so much for everything y'all have done for me. And I'll still be around. I'll still be um, putting up unboxing videos from new Monstrex stuff as it gets released. So, uh, yeah. Thank y'all again so much. And I'll talk to y'all later.